Smoke Perp is faking his following count on Instagram and doing poor sales on the Florida JIT album, but his homie Lil Pump is also not that far behind. Many don't even know that he released the album No Name at the end of 2021, which, not to be too harsh, wasn't that good. Their monthly listeners and views are in a pretty sad state right now, and in this video we'll discuss why this happened. Let's go! Do you want to introduce us to who you're with? This is my little nigga, Lil Pump. Larry, 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 oh, Larry. This is an interview from 2016, and as you can see, many didn't even know who Lil Pump was because Perp had started making music earlier and became known in local circles after the Ski Mask song. Pull up on your block, I'm banging on that Nina. I feel like John Cena, all my diamonds are confined. And as one person in the comments correctly noted, it was a time when he was more popular than Lil Pump. There are a bunch of Lil Pump's freestyles and songs at a pretty young age on the web, but let's just say he began his rap career with a collab with his homeboy. I made him, bro. He, cause he was freestyle, but he he didn't want to record. And we were at my house, and, and I'm like, always tell me, I'm like, I'm like, bro, and he didn't want to record. I'm like, nah, bro, you're gonna record right now. And I set it up, and then I made him record. But 2017 became the breakthrough year for both guys. Lil Pump releases D Rose. The track that set a new vector in hip hop, farting basses and looping words became a trending sound. In turn, Perp releases Glock in My Benz. And it just kept on getting better and better for the duo, with each new track being a hit, especially from Lil Pump. The fall of 2017 was also successful for the artists. Lil Pump releases the main hit of his career, Gucci Gang, which amasses a whopping 1.1 billion views. Gucci Gang, 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 Spread the rest on the. It was hard not to talk about Lil Pump. Everybody spoke about him and listened to his music. Just remember how in 2017 every jit shouted. Some people like Eminem spoke badly about him, which we'll talk about later, but for instance Marshall's friend 50 Cent had the opposite opinion. It's safe to say that Lil Pump was treated more or less ambiguously. It's like disrespectful to women. I f a bitch on. Huh? Please, you'd be lucky if you could get one. <laughs> Meanwhile, Smoke Perp is hanging out with Travis Scott at the studio on September 1st, and at the end of that month releases the album Dead Star, which also featured a collaboration with La Flame. Till my fingers blue, till my fingers blue, huh, I like In addition to all this, just a couple of hours after he drops the album, it becomes known that Travis Scott signs Perp to his own label, Cactus Jack. Like, talk to me, like, I told him, I'm like, bro, I want to, I want to end up with Cactus Jack, bro. And in October, Lil Pump presented his self-titled debut album, which debuted at number three on the Billboard 200. Change, yeah. I, I rain, yeah. 2018 was also a great year for both rappers. It's clear that Lil Pump was more popular, but Smoke Perp also released a number of hits. The album Bless Yo Trap was loved by listeners. Lil Pump releases Es Get It. But then something interesting happens. On April 20th, 2018, J. Cole releases an album called K.O.D., which disses Smoke Perp and Lil Pump. I heard one of them diss me, I'm surprised. I ain't tripping, listen good to my reply. But it all started with this diss from Lil Pump, who for some reason decided to take some shots at J. Cole. For J. Cole. Yeah, for J. Cole. And of course the beef began and Smoke Perp supported this chant. He also said that Lil Pump was better than J. Cole, but one day he had to put his money where his mouth was. A week after this chant, a J. Cole fan threw water at Smoke Perp, 
Allegedly, he gave a diving falcon punch in the crowd at the person who threw the water, and a brawl broke out. Then at the Billboard event, Lil Pump said that everything was fine and that he had no problems with J. Cole. Shout out to J. Cole, get it! A couple of days later, they met and talked like a student and a teacher, and the conflict was finally over. And undoubtedly, this incident will forever be on Lil Pump's mind, because I think it's clear to everyone which one of them shit their pants. Lil Pump and J. Cole. <laughs> But this is not the end of the reproaches towards Lil Pump. This time, Eminem had some things to say about the mumble rapper. Lil Pump, Lil Xan, imitate Lil Wayne. I should aim at everybody in the game. Pick a name. So you heard bumblings. I heard you want to rumble. Like an empty stomach. I heard you mumbling, but it's jumbled and mumble jumble. Lil Pump did not react to this in any type of way, as he probably understood that was not the time to beef with yet another legend. But still, he spoke out after a while, and we'll talk about it in a couple of minutes. So let's look at what happens next. 2019 was an ambiguous year for many. Firstly, the new album Harvard Dropout from Lil Pump came out very mid, and the rapper did not come close to the level that he was at two years earlier. Although he did release several successful tracks. And in his turn, Perp releases Dead Star 2, which debuted at number 137, which was his worst performance in his entire career at the time. He spent a whopping $2 million to create the album. Several times the release had to be re-recorded, as the label was not happy with the product that Perp had offered them. On top of that, Kanye West was supposed to be on the second part of Dead Star, but due to his religious motives, he had to drop out at the last moment, although the song was almost ready. We also started thinking about whether Smoke Perp was on Travis Scott's label at all, because there was nothing else besides their collab back in the day. He did not receive any promotion from Cactus Jack. One of his fans asked him if he was thrown out of Travis's party, to which he replied that he decided to go to Interscope himself. There is also a theory that he was never officially a part of Cactus Jack, since all of his projects were released under Interscope. Now it's time for 2020. If you ask me, this is a trashy year coming from both rappers. And we'll start with Lil Pump. First of all, what the fuck is this? Judging by Lil Pump's expression, he wanted to check in quickly and get out of there as soon as possible. He received money for a children's song and left. But there's another work of art that has not been completely appreciated by the community. Illuminati. 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 The Royal Polari. Worst verse Nigga. of the year. The worst verse of the year. Nigga. Lil Pump, Illuminati. Then he decides to become a politician. He promises that if Trump loses the election, he will go live in Colombia. No cap. If Trump does not get elected, I'm moving the f out of here, nigga. I'm going to Columbia. F it. Lil Pump attends Donald Trump's rally and even puts on a MAGA cap. He said he sported Trump as the other presidential candidate Joe Biden wanted to introduce a big tax for the rich. But the most embarrassing moment for Lil Pump happened when Trump called him Little Pimp. More than 300,000 fans unsubscribed from Lil Pump after supporting Donald Trump. Just read these angry comments where one of them gained as many as 70,000 likes, in which the subscriber said that he ruined his career. There is no doubt that he was paid. According to the Florida State Department, Lil Pump did not vote for Trump or any other candidate in the US presidential election, since the rapper was not even registered to vote. So how can a person support his candidate that much if he didn't even vote for him in his entire career? Career, Lil Pump has never expressed his political opinion, and then BAM, he starts talking about it. Later, he admitted that he spoke at the rally only so that Trump would release Kodak Black. Who would believe that? It seems to me only a madman. In turn, Smoke Perp created an unforgettable freestyle that will forever remain in the memory of every rap fan. Even in school, I'll do them big bells. Forget I ain't living twice. This is many, I live my life. Apart from the trolling because of the freestyle, he was also tired of hearing from critics that he had become irrelevant, and so he said that his music would become more and more popular by the day. So he releases the album Florida Jit, which sold only 5,000 copies in the first week. On the bitches, whatever. Yeah. All this money I'm 
I'm changing the weather, oh. and I'm busting this bitch out whoever. And it turns out that sales were even worse than with Dead Star 2, and we will close out our 2020 with Lil Pump and return to his beef with Eminem. Hey, fuck Eminem, you is lame as hell, ain't nobody listening to your old ass, you lame as fuck, bitch. After such words, of course everyone was on Eminem's side because to say that no one listens to him is at the very least stupid, especially if you compare the numbers of both rappers. Marshall responded in an original manner and on Twitter quoted his lines from the song Book of Rhymes. But I need to get off the internet, internet. I need to get on the mic. Get on the mic. You need to get off the internet, internet. You need. In early 2021, Lil Pump apologized for insulting Eminem. I never understood. The, the, the Eminem, Lil Pump, like, what was that about? Who? Eminem. I remember that. You don't even remember that shit, huh, Pump? Yo, you pumped out. Yeah, this guy, what? Like, I had him last week. I ain't telling nobody. He was sleeping through the fucking thing. He woke up. Oh, so man. Damn. He said, I damn, OG, man, I slept through this shit. I even told you. I was like, my fault. I was asleep. I'm so sorry about that. And Smoke Perp in turn releases the EP Psycho, where two songs out of five did pretty decent numbers, but still it did not help him regain even a little bit of his past popularity. In turn, Lil Pump remembers the password to his YouTube account and releases a collaboration with Tory Lanez. And this work was included in Lil Pump's new album, No Name, which was not announced by Lil Pump. Therefore, it is not surprising that listenings to the record are at the level of an underground rapper, which is not acceptable for a person who used to gather huge arenas and amassed a billion views on one clip. And of course, it's absolutely impossible to listen to. Naples. The year 2022 isn't going well for both rappers. Lil Pump has released only two tracks this year. But no, wait, wait. He has another feature with the singer V Rod, who has only one clip on her channel and 3,000 listeners a month on Spotify. Paid eighty thousand dollars for a necklace. Yeah, she paid twenty k to get her ass. Dead. But at least it's better than collabing with bloggers and Smoke Perps performing in an empty venue. <laughs> And for some reason, he's demanding nine million dollars from Kanye West. And Kanye, nigga, you owe me like nine million dollars, nigga. Hit my line, nigga, or my lawyer's gonna hit your lawyer, nigga. Kanye, you still owe me like nine million dollars, nigga. Tap it, nigga. And in order to somehow hide his falling off as a rapper, he keeps 4 million followers on Instagram with the help of bots. So far, the rapper has not commented on this. Why do you think they are no longer popular? Let us know in the comments. I suggest you go check out the next video about the rise and fall of Death Row Records. See you guys later.